Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 7.4.1 Implementing DHCP Version 4. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials Version 7 Cisco Network and Academy Curriculum. So in this video, we're working through again implementing DHCP for our networks, our local area networks. Now right now we have R2 up here kind of as the middleman and it is splitting these two local area networks here on R1 and here on R3 that includes R3 S3 PC2 the other one R1 S1 PC1 so kind of looking at the different notations here our R1 LAN I'm just going to put some notes here should be uh, 192.168.10.0 that's my network address right or my start and then my broadcast or my ending address should be 192.168.10.254 and I know that because my subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 okay that subnet mask lets me know if I start at 10.0 I need to take up that whole fourth octet and I'm sorry that should be 255 usable addresses are 192.168.10.1 through 192.168.10.254 so that's my usable now when I set up my pool that's all very important to know also what is my default gateway here So my default gateway is going to be 192.168.10.1. That is the interface on R1 down here. Um, so right here, G00192.168.10.1 for that default gateway. Um, let's see, my DNS server for that so that part of the network is let's see what's our DNS server's IP address 192.168.20.254 and that should be all I need right oh also what addresses are we going to exclude right so we need to exclude some starting and ending it says exclude the first 10 from both lands so 192.168.10.1 to 192.168.10.10 those are going to be excluded from my addressing um, pool all right so that's for the r1 lan the r3 lan over here our network our start is 192.168 dot 30 dot zero my broadcast or my ending address is 192.168.30.255 my subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 uh, my usable address is here that means I can assign them to an interface is 192.168.30.1 through 192.168.30.254 my DNS server is still on the other network 192.168.20.254 and my excluded addresses are 192.168.30.1 we want to use our usable okay start starting with 30.1 and then um, 30.10 so the first 10 addresses there we're going to exclude oh and my default gateway I forgot my default gateway in there is 192.168.30.1 that should be the address of uh, G00 on R3 which is again right here all right so we got all that information it's good to note that because when we start plugging it in um, that'll help us now again all of this is being configured on R2 so for R2 to know to relay this information down correctly to to r3 and r1 we have to figure configure this as a dhcp relay so my dhcp relay on r1 g00 my dhcp relay address from r2 is 
um, again, going to be whatever address this right here is on R2. So that LAN, that sorry, that WAN, that wide area network interface right here on R2 that goes down to R1. So this address right here, and on R2, that happens to be S000. So that's 10.1.1.2. OK, so again, this is an address, the wide area network that connects R2 to R1. So it is this address right here on R2, this one right here going down to R1. But we set it on R1's G00 right here to let it know, hey, any request needs to be forwarded from and to this interface up here. Now, R3's. G00 needs DHCP relay address from R2 is 10.2.2.2, which again, it should be this IP address right here that it is forwarding down to G00. And again, it needs to know how to contact that because R2, remember, holds all the DHCP information. And we call that a relay or a helper. So let's start configuring these. So we're going to go to R2, and this lab tells you kind of what to do, um, but not necessarily how to do it. So I'm going to go over where I can kind of see both of these. So I'm going to do enable, config T, and I'm going to configure R1's LAN first. So IP excluded address, and then again, you can do a question mark, IP DHCP, that would help excluded address and you can do a question mark of our starting and ending and they should be usable addresses 10.1 and then you don't have to do a through or anything you just type the second one okay so that excludes the first 10 addresses ip dhcp pool they wanted it named r1 lan and we're going to put our starting or our network address here network 192.168.10.0 we do have to include the subnet mask there again so it knows it starts at 10.0 and it ends at 10.255 we don't have to put an ending address because that subnet mask lets it know and then we are going to configure my default gateway which is the default router command 192.168.10.1 and then our dns server and that is 192.168.20.254. So that configures the R1 LAN, okay? Now, let's configure our next one. So I'm gonna scroll over a little bit so we can see all our information and good notes we took for the R3 LAN. So we're gonna name this one uh, the uh, R3 LAN pool, but let's exclude our addresses first. Uh, IP DHCP, excluded address 192.168.30.1 through 192.168.30.10 and then we're going to do ip dhcp pool 192.168.30.0 oh i'm sorry Ugh, get my head on myself we got to name this r3 lan now we can do network 192.168.30.0.255.255.255.0. Again, that lets it know my network address or my starting, and it knows the ending is 255 from, again, um, that subnet mask. Then we'll do default router for our default gateway is 30.1, and then DNS-server is 192.168.20.254. So again, when it starts assigning addresses here for the R1 LAN, it is going to not use 10.0 because that's the network address. It's not going to use 10.1 through 10.10 .10 either because we excluded them right here. So it's going to start at 10.11 for the first address request. 192.168.10.1 will be the default gateway and this will be the DNS server. Same thing for 30.0. Right, 30.0 is the network address, so it won't use it. It also won't use 30.1 through 30.10. So 30.11 will be the first address that it assigns to anybody, and 30.1 will be the default gateway. 20.254 is the DNS uh, server as well. All right, now before I click on DHCP for this to be used, remember I got to set up my helper address or my relay here and here. So on R1, this is G00, make sure you always configure the correct interface. And again, you won't have to do this 
if you configured the DHCP pool on R1 and the DHCP pool on R3. So if you did the R3 LAN pool on R3, you wouldn't need a helper address because it's directly connected here. Same thing on R1. If you did the DHCP pool on R1, you wouldn't need a helper address because it's directly connected here. We set everything else up on R2. So because we set everything on R2, we have to uh, let R1 and R3 know where to get its DHCP information from. Um, it's kind of better to set it up on one and use the helper address so everything is configured on that one router. So we'll go into interface G00 on R1. And again, our helper address is going to be the interface uh, on R2 that's connected to, uh, that goes to R1. So it's going to be R2's uh, S000 interface, which is, um, we'll do IP DHCP, oops, sorry, IP, and then you see here helper address. We haven't gotten that far yet. Helper address 10.1.1.2. We'll exit out of there and we'll go to R3. And again, it is interface G00. It doesn't have to be G00, it's just what it's plugged into. Um, interface G00. Um, IP helper dash address. And then you can see here, um, our helper address is Ten dot two dot two dot two, and again, ten dot two dot two dot two is R two's S zero zero one address. Again, it is ten dot two dot two dot two. Okay. Now that we got those set up correctly, all right. Now that we got those set up correctly, this interface here on R two should be able to relay that information down here to R3. This interface on R2 on S000 should be able to relay that information to G00. Now, the truth is in the pudding here. All right, that works. Go to PC2, desktop, and it says successful. So we're good. All right, and again, you can check. We said it was going to be 30.11. We said it was going to be 10.11. Check our default gateways and everything. You can check connectivity with pings as well. That always helps. All right, now, the other thing we need to do is configure to the right of R1. This interface here is uh, G01, DHCP assigned. So we actually want to get this assigned from our internet cloud. So we're going to go to... R2 and do interface G01, and then we're actually going to do um, IP DHCP, sorry, IP address DHCP, hit enter, and then type in no shutdown and turn it on. We're going to give it a second. I'm going to fast forward it actually. And you see here it'll pop up and it says this was given an address 209.165.200.254 subnet mask 255.255.255.224 it was given the host name r2 g01 interface all right so you can try pinging everything we're at 100 percent now in our lab um, again this lab kind of told you what needed to be configured for dhcp and the different ways the main things to take away are again how to set up your pools how to do the relay address if you do have a central kind of router connected to some other routers. If you don't have that set up, you don't need a helper address or a relay. But because we had everything configured, our pools on R2, it needed to relay it to R1 and R3.